Or I can do that. Oh, I feel better Hallelujah. already. Hallelujah. We I'll forgive you, Hallelujah. sister Abby. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for joining us with the Church of Sluts. God bless you all. Ooh. And hallelujah. God bless America. Hallelujah. If you would like to donate to the Amen. Thank you guys so much. God bless you guys. Thank you. God bless America. Amen. Thank you. God bless. Amen. Amen. USA. USA. Come on. USA. Can we get a prayer like to lead us out, Sister Claire? But I also Hell want a dollar, no. damn it. No one else can see me but you. Yes. Man, I thought it was a strip club, Eddie. I'm bad about that. I didn't know it was actually church. Oh, it's so what? All right, what the fuck's going on, huh? I stand by the fence in case anyone's listening. What's going on? So... How much you know about what's going on with Michael Simone? Uh, I mean, probably a little bit, maybe. Maybe a lot. I'm not really too sure, honestly. You know what's happened recently about uh, Ray and AP getting let off on their charges? Yeah, I did hear about that. They got to charge him first or some shit? Yeah, so when they catch Simone, then they could charge him and anyone he's associated with, right? Or who hel helped him. Now... See, the thing is, now that the cops have done that, let's kind of put it into our hands, so to speak. And now people are going to be making decisions on how they want to move forward, right? It's either hey, Coyle, so Simone you. disappears for good. Like, you know, he jumps ship, goes to another city or something. Or someone's going to try and do something. <coughs> and I want to come oh, to you and talk to you about it. Because you probably know Ray much better than me. But yeah. when I spoke to Ray about, you know, this whole shit about, you know, Mick being broken out. He doesn't really know Mick. Which is why I told him to call Dean. So he could, you know, talk to Dean and Dean would convince him if it was worthwhile, right? That, right. That's what ended up with him getting into shit. Now, the thing is, I'm, I'm not sure where Ray stands, but I don't. I feel like he would be one of the people that's most likely to go after Mick, right? Try and kill him. Probably, yeah. Right. Now, the thing is, I think a lot of other people know that. But there's also probably a few other people that have it in their mind, too, to try and, you know, take care of business. Uh -huh. I don't think so... we should kill him. Are you, do you want to kill him? I'm not saying I want to kill him. I'm just saying we need to be careful of what Ray's doing because people are going to probably be wondering what he's going to do, right? And if other people know that Ray's going to go after him, then those other, the, the mix also going to know, you know what I mean? Yeah, but I, I don't think Ray's going to do it. He's just pissed off right now. I mean, I don't really blame him. Right. Yeah. I mean, I almost lost everything. I mean, you in. guys all did. You guys got all wrapped up into this mess. I, I really don't understand why, but you guys probably know him on a more personal level. But uh, I do not think to trying extent, to kill him is yeah. the answer. I mean, I haven't heard a peep out of him since all that shit happened with me. You know what I mean? Really? Yeah. So what's happening with you now? Are they still all over you or what? Well, now I'm in even more deep shit because Jesus was seen with him yesterday somehow. What? what? Well, his vehicle was nearby. I don't know how they found Mick, because it was like out in the middle of nowhere. They knew he was there, and he was with Benji and Jesus. And somehow the cops got wind of it. Uh, uh. Uh, Jesus is my CFO for the tuna shop. And Izzy was nearby. And she's my executive assistant at the tuning shop. So now the shop gets roped into it again. 
They've got their properties all locked down and shit. Probably gonna get raided. Jesus is in interrogation. Or he might be out by now. The past few hours he's probably been in interrogation. Really? Did, did he lock yeah. it down your shit as well or no? Not right. Not as far as I know. Not right now. But what I'm saying is like... I'm trying to stay neutral in terms of... Because AP wanted to fucking talk to him and all this shit and kind of be a sort of apprentice. Kind of like what, uh, how much you know about Jaeger's involvement? AP in wants to be his apprentice. AP is a race car driving pussy. And all of a sudden he wants right. to blow up buildings? Like AP's got his ambitions. No, it's not necessarily there, but he's got his ambitions with certain shit. What, what are his, his ambitions? I'm confused. I don't know. He wants to... He, he's pretty tight with Mick on some shit. I don't really know exactly what Mick gets into, but from what conversation I just had with someone about... Sounds like a bit of, bit of a psychopath, to be honest. But don't tell anyone I said that about AP. I mean, I, I'm, no, I, I want to... Be careful what you say to Dean as well, because I know Dean's pretty tight with... Uh, with Mick, I think. So how are they tight, though? Like, I, I've never heard Dean ever speak about Michael Simone, ever. Well, that, that's, that's what I'm not sure about. I don't know what the operation's like. There's also other people that are close to Mick, um, especially Benji. And... From the person I spoke to, it kind of seems like Benji's, uh, he's next in line behind Mick with his operation, right? And somehow they're not looking into Benji at all, despite all the kind of contact they have and the fact that Benji lives with him, which is sus as fuck. They also have a business together called Hades. They do? Yeah, go search it up in the uh, city hall. It almost seemed calculated to Mick appearing at the shop. And like implicating all these other people, right? That aren't necessarily super close with Mick. Like if something's going to happen to Mick or someone's going to go after him, and the police have set this up where, you know, they've let these people out on these charges and it's hanging over their head. That's going to create fucking... The cops know what they're doing, right? They're probably right. expecting someone to try something and people to turn on each other. And now Benji somehow... In the clear, he's essentially next in line to the throne, right? If someone tries something, it's probably, next in line you know, to what? People going to point to Ray. So I'm just saying you got to be careful. If, if something happens, hold on, a second. Ray's in the firing line here, and Mick might try and do something first. Hey, where'd you hey what's up, Dean? Oh, I'm just talking to Eddie uh, in the back of the church. Oh, okay. Yeah, feel free to come by if you want. We're just chilling. All right. Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't know, Eddie. Uh, <clears throat> a lot of people seem to be wrapped up with this guy. I'm not too sure why. I don't really know him that well, but uh, you know, looks like your your boy's the tuna shop being sloppy as fuck. Oh, but that's the thing, though. It's like we're not being that sloppy, but they're going. They've got a lot on a, a bunch of us. And I thought, you know, someone got tipped off yesterday about Jesus meeting with him. There's a snitch then. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. How do you uh, how do you know that Ray wants to kill him? We don't, but people who I've to, spoke to, you know, know what's happening right now. If, if Mick gets caught, right, and then those people that have those charges hanging over their heads go down with him. And they're probably going to execute Mick, and then anyone else uh -huh. that um anyone else that's getting uh or that can be tied to him, or whatever, go, goes down with him also. Probably me as well. So what the fuck do you think we do here, then? We have him fake his death. Faking his death is not a bad idea. I'm not going to lie. Do you really think that would work, though? Uh, personally, no, but uh, what's the harm in trying, I guess, right? Uh, again, though, anyone that tries to help him, that might get. Yeah, I don't know how to contact him though, so I don't know who would even propose that idea to him. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I did twat at him yesterday, and he called me, so. <laughs> 
you what? Yeah, I twatted out, hey, M. Simone, please give me a call. Yeah, Lang was annoyed that he wasn't caught up in an investigation, so he went on a... I wasn't annoyed, there. guys. I wasn't annoyed. Come on, Dean. Come on. I literally just swatted it out, and within an hour, he called me, and within an hour after that, I bought about 15 pipe bombs. Any? What's that, sorry? What are you doing, Eddie? See? I was checking my fucking phone. I've got people trying to fucking mm -hmm. meet me. I've got fucking Mary guilt tripping me because I've talking in the back of a church with Lang don't look so good now, does it? Wait, what? <sighs> what that's supposed to mean, Dean? They're probably watching you, mate. Well, what, what, what is Mary guilt tripping you about? Oh, well, we're supposed to meet and talk about some stuff. But I don't know. Okay. That was very vague. Ah, uh, anyway, where were we? I mean, so weird, Eddie. I'm not being weird. Yeah, quite frankly, you are. Right. Right, not being weird, right. So I'm just saying, be careful with Ray. Cause... Yeah, but where is this coming from? This is what confuses me. Well, uh, well, at least I could, um, people know he's the one that's not that roped in with, uh, Mick, right? I mean, when he called me, he didn't really yeah. know Mick, which is why I directed him to Dean. But Dean's made that call to get him involved, right? And with this shit looming over everyone's head, like, one of the options is to, kill him right because otherwise if he doesn't leave the city and he hangs about and with him being as reckless as he is he's going to get caught one day and those charges are going to come back to bite everyone in the ass and whoever's been associated with him the thing is uh when we spoke with murphy last night i mean he's kind of instigating that idea yeah someone uh someone said to me that um murphy said that you know one of the best options would be to off him. Yeah, you know? uh, that's like the prevailing idea amongst all right now, I think. That's why I say we fake his death. All right. What I'm saying is you got to be careful. What's up, Benji? What side everyone lies on, right? Someone might try something. If someone does try something, it could come back better on Ray because he's like number one. Uh, what's the word? He's the one that's most likely to do it, at least in the eyes of everyone else. Yeah, but the thing I'm trying to figure out here is, is Murphy Braun the one instigating all this, which is making you suss Ray out, or is Ray opening his big fucking mouth telling everybody he wants to kill Michael Simone? No, I... I, I no, I, I've had people saying to me that... Uh, I don't know if it's, he, Ray spoke to anyone, but they've said that something's going to happen, you know... To Mick, it'll probably be Ray doing it. Yeah, I mean, it's fine if people would assume that, but the key here is if, if Ray is running his mouth, that's a problem. People are just assuming that, and that's whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think Ray would be dumb enough to run his mouth about that, right? Because everyone knows how. I mean, I don't think he'd be dumb enough. Dumb enough, he just got dragged into something he's not aware about, so he probably thinks Michael Simone is a nobody. Right, yeah. So I could see him doing that personally, and that's that's the thing we gotta find out here. Because if he is, I gotta tell him to shut the fuck up. All right. Now, what well, do you want to do? Are you planning on killing this motherfucker? No, I'm not planning on killing him. But I, I'm trying to keep everyone in the tuning shop, you know, kind of neutral in it and not contacting him or anything to try because if i fucking uh ap wanted to talk to him and if ap talks to him and says oh look you you know uh it'd be best for everyone if you you know leave the island or whatever then he decides he's not gonna and then he's gonna be like oh well now all this is looming over the tuna shop people's head right so now the tuna shop target you know what i mean i don't really know mick all that well and from what i've i've been told with the shit he's done with some people is he kind of sounds like a psychopath i mean he's a fucking terrorist Exactly.
Okay, well, I'll, I'll talk to Ray. I'll see what the fact's good. Um, I don't know. Well, you think somebody's going to kill Michael Simone and then try to put the blame on Ray? I'm confused at what you're insinuating here, Eddie. Yeah. If someone tries something, it might just, you know, Ray be the number one suspect. Or... If someone told you they're going to do that. I think that Ray or some, you know, Ray would try something, so he's going to try something first to just watch out. But... But are you genuinely worried, or have you heard shit that you're not telling me about? No, I'm genuinely. I'm just genuinely worried. I've not heard that anyone's going to try anything, but you know, people are kind of. Uh, are you talking about the police accusing him, or people on the streets accusing? No, people on the streets. Uh, the police know what they're doing right now. Like, they've done this, probably in the hopes that right. people are going to, you know, some fireworks are going to go off in between the, in between everyone right now. But the thing is, right, on the streets, we know who is involved, right? We know everyone who's got motive uh, to kill him. Of, of involved in the prison transport and shit, but I don't know exactly who's involved with him in terms of business. Oh, right. Like, I yeah, really I mean, know, that's like, different. Benji yeah. was involved. And apparently he's, uh, he's like one of the, he's like second in line behind Mick with uh, a lot of shit. And he hasn't I don't even been know if into. that's extremely accurate information. Oh, but that's the thing that, that nobody really knows exactly who he's roped in with. I mean, Benji might be involved, but, uh, you know, I shouldn't say, but I don't know if that's, I don't know if he's the, you know, the one behind Michael. Hmm. Well, I've away. Uh, I think you just gotta be careful, you know, with Ray and because I know Jaeger's pretty tight with Mick. Definitely, right? uh, definitely valid concern. I'll be honest. I mean, it's a valid concern. Yeah, I don't think Ray's gonna do anything. Um, this, which is why I'm trying to figure out. Like Murphy Brown heavily instigated that at our meeting with him yesterday. He's probably yeah, doing that with like everybody he's else. Saying that because he knows what the police are trying to do as well. I guess it's turn on each other sort of thing. The well, it sounded to me like he was trying to convince us to kill Michael Murphy. Simone yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, Mur yeah Murphy's good. He's, on, he's with us. He, he thinks the, the way this problem goes away, yeah, he's killing. Yeah, and other people might think like that. For example, Ray or even some others that might try and take the opportunity knowing that the eyes are on someone else to do it themselves. The other person gets to blame. Hmm. I mean, I don't know. I can't have Michael Simone die. I need to protect him in my life. You need to? Yes. What'd you ever make? Uh, I literally can't tell you guys yet. But, uh, you know, I'm not going to lie to you. Was, Lang's name was left out of investigation, so he went and made himself the main suspect. Okay, Dean can assume whatever he wants. I, I'm not gonna lie to you. I was considering killing the guy if uh, if it meant saving my boy, uh, you know, from going down for terrorism a couple of days ago. But uh, you know, new development has uh, came out of fucking nowhere, and I, I can't have this guy be dead. If you want me to shoot straight with it here, Eddie. All right. Well, yeah, we'll just. I mean, uh, how do you feel about that personally? I mean, it doesn't bother me. Yeah, but are you sure, though? Because it seems like you're getting a lot of shit thrown on you from this whole situation. Well, yeah, I mean, the fucking, my shop's at risk. And me. With Mick being well, that's there. what I'm saying, right? You have and a lot at risk now, here, so how, how, how does that not bother you? That's what confuses me. Oh, I mean, it does. I just want to make sure that no one does anything crazy is all. So the, reali the reality is, it's a hard decision, right? Uh, this guy, you know, roped, a, roped in a bunch of people, you know, with him. Shit spreading everywhere. The best decision to save everybody would be to kill him. A lot of people want to protect him. Some people want to kill him. I, I don't really know what the fuck to do, quite frankly. That's why I think faking his death, uh, if we can pull it off, it's probably the best outcome. Yeah, but it'd be hard to do that. I would think I think it's near impossible. Event, to do that if kind he of even shit, do though. fake his death and he doesn't, you know, skip town, he does end up getting caught somehow. 
that whole problem comes back again, right? Which is what everyone's like. If someone convinces him to skip town anyway, who's to say he wouldn't come back and get caught in the future? You know what I mean? Mm, yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to do, uh, Eddie. Uh, cross your fingers, hope the cops will find shit out, take action, but uh, I, I, I really don't know. I mean, he's tied in with Hades uh, and a bunch of people involved in that, right? He's tied in with Ron Corp and a bunch of people involved in that. I mean, this guy's tied in with a lot of people. There's going to be a lot of people who are not going to want him to be dead. Yeah. But some of those people might also think that their involvement with him is also a big risk. Oh, no shit. Right? And the fallout from shit that's happened recently might not be worth the trouble. I think of people that might be thinking like that, you know? Yeah, but I'm I'm shooting straight with you here because I like you, Eddie, and I'm just trying to be honest. Uh, it's, and it's not by my own choice, but I, I can't not have this guy dying. Well, not yeah, yet. I don't want least. him dead either. Just got to make sure that nobody does anything rash. I don't I mean, think uh, I'm, Ray would. Honestly, I'm on the side of let's kill him and get the investigation done, to be honest. Yeah, see, all of a sudden I say this guy shouldn't die, and all of a sudden Dean wants to kill him. I love my life. Hmm. See, but if I said we should kill the guy, Dean would say, wait, let's fake his death instead. That's what I said, fake his death. Right. Yeah. All right. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's one of those things where you just got to see where the shit lands, you know, and hopefully it's not in your house. Yeah, I mean, he was taking a shit in a tune shop. I ain't sort of started all this, so. Or fucking kill the guy and see what other shit comes to your house. I don't fucking know, Eddie, quite frankly. Honestly, if it's possible, there needs to be kind of like a round table talk with him with all those that actually are involved. That might be good. But the three of us, could also probably Miguel, come Ray. Back badly in our, yeah. It's tough to get that going, but. At this point, we just need to talk to him, I think. Yeah. Do it very fucking carefully. Yeah. I don't know if you call that part of the conversation, Dean, but Jesus, is, uh, his properties are locked down right now with Izzy because his car was seen in the area nearby where Mick was. They're like out in the middle of nowhere. So now the cops got wind of where he was. They didn't, I don't even think uh, Jesus says they didn't even see him. They just knew he was there somehow. Fucking hell. So any, any, you, you go near this guy in any way, shape or form, you get fucking locked down. Yeah, exactly. I had like, no, like, like I said, I had no direct contact with him at all. I spoke to the people that spoke to him, and they fucked me. And now my CFO, mm. my executive assistant, I roped in on it. The tuning stop's even more implicated. Yeah, I mean, people keep going out of their way to help this, guys. Everyone's going to get fucked in the end, you know? You got Lang tweeting, hey, M. Simone, come and look. Find me, please. Oh, you and you got Dean, ready. you know, hey, let's go break him out of uh, transport because I'm bored, right, Dean? We can do this all fucking day, Dean. You want to call me out of my shit? I call you out on your shit all fucking day, Dean. Uh, what was that going to resolve? I don't know the guy. What was that? To I can't let him die in the span of yeah. 24 hours. Yeah, I can't. Exactly. Look, if you guys want to kill the guy... Kill the guy. No Go ahead. Kill the guy. Go ahead. Kill the guy and deal with the bullshit afterwards. But don't come calling me about it. Go ahead. Maybe we should have the round table with me. Probably should. It's hard to organize. Fuck, I guess some compensation for the bullshit that's happened with me. I got fucking nothing out of this. Guys, just just bam and move on. Just ignore morons like that. He owes me 50 fucking car bombs at this point. Yeah, well, I got 15 pipe bombs. <laughs> you do have 15, you fucking liar. Yeah. You know what, Lang? I don't like this anymore. You change. 
Yeah, whatever, Dean. Yeah. I'm tired. I'm tired of this bullshit, Dean. This, this shit you try to do to me all the time. It, I'm really getting sick and tired of it. I'm not gonna lie. Appreciate you chatting, Lang. And take care, Eddie. How does he call me and then not answer the phone? 